Do you wanna pay more money for a house that's available right now on the market? If you wait till spring, that might just be what happens. Whether you're a person looking at buying or selling a home, or if you're an agent working with a client, a lot of people will say to you, well, you know, I wanna wait till spring. That's always like a common thing. Like, so sometimes we wonder if it's like a smoke screen or if it's just like, we're just not really ready to buy in the winter. But when we look at the numbers and based upon like the historical numbers since 2020, which we can pretty much predict that like 2024 is going to kind of mirror exactly what's happened in 2020, 2021, 2022, uh, and 2023, is that people just think that there are gonna be more options on the market in spring. And what the data is telling us is that's not necessarily true. By the time we get to spring, there are gonna be more people listing their homes, but however, there's a lot more homes that sell quicker and a lot more inventory pushing. If we look at the, you know, the winter numbers versus the spring numbers, there's two, almost two times as many houses sold during the, the spring. So even though the inventory levels are relatively the same, that just means that it's going to be a lot more competitive at that time of year. And when we also look at like the average price and the median price, what we really see at that point is that the median price and the average price jumps almost 10 to 15% higher. So what you could be doing is you could necessarily, you know, your clients could be doing this or your sellers or buyers will be doing this is that they're maybe just pu pushing off their search but at the end of the day they're going to have the similar amount of inventory to choose from and they're going to be paying a higher price for it so you know we don't know what's going to happen in the spring of 2024 in terms of like interest rates but what we do know is that the number of homes is probably going to be pretty closely matched to what the inventory is now and we're just going to kind of just have a lot more people wanting to buy, which is going to push the prices up and gonna make it harder to find that perfect house. So what we really recommend to our buyers right now is like, you know, keep your search going. Like, yeah, it's not ideal to move in the winter. It does kind of suck. Like, obviously it's cold. You know, there could be snow, you know, but if we do wait to spring, you that exact same house could be a more competitive house that you are buying. So you're just gonna be paying more and potentially having even less options on the market. And that's just gonna put you in a position where you're gonna to have to kind of settle for the house that you want. Whereas if you're just keeping your search kind of going on during the winter, you may find that perfect house. You may be able to get it for a cheaper price. And then, yeah, let's just say the interest rates do fall in the spring, then you can be in a position to refinance your home at that time instead of playing the crazy market where, you know, we could be back to, you know, 10, 20, $30,000 above asking where you're paying above appraisal price just to get that home that was already on the market sitting in winter. So really what we recommend to our clients and what we tell our agents is just keep the search going. Like we don't have to necessarily find a house, but if that perfect house does pop up, it's a lot better to buy it right now than waiting to spring. And the data backs that up. And so it's not just, you know, it's not just us kind of being salespeople and being like, well, we wanna, we wanna sell houses winter because obviously we do want to sell houses in the winter but we also know that there's people that we're shopping with right now and if we do wait to spring it's going to be much harder for them to get a house because right now most houses you can probably get some closing costs paid for you can maybe even sign up for two one buy downs you may be able to get down payment assistance come spring though all those options may be out the window because that's what's happened in the past couple of years and we don't expect 2024 to be any different from that. What we're basically saying is like, if you do find the right house, keep your search going and be in a position to buy it right now instead of waiting to spring, instead of waiting to when everyone else wants to buy a house. That way you can find that perfect house right now, get into it, get that interest rate locked in. Interest rates have fallen about a percent this last month. So that's, a, it's really a better time to buy than it was last month. So, you know, we could, you could really be putting yourself in a good position. For example, last year we thought interest rates were gonna fall in the spring and guess what they went up so that could be the same situation that happens again or they could go down dramatically which would then again just cause a lot more people be interested in buying a home that have been sitting on the sidelines like a lot of people are working on doing right now if you are an agent go into the data reports that the mls releases and kind of go through the numbers specifically with your clients because then, then they they don't really feel like you are selling them. You are just showing them what has happened based upon the past couple of years. And again, we're not expecting 2024 to be dramatically different than 2023 or 2022. And if you are a buyer, I would highly recommend working with your agent on trying to find that perfect property. And you know, don't necessarily put yourself on a strict deadline. Keep your options open as we go through the winter because that perfect house might be available right now. And based upon what the numbers tells us, that same house is gonna be 10% or more higher it come spring. So highly recommend going that route if you have any questions you know please let us know um, we'd love to help you when it comes to buying and selling your home steve myers with urban cool homes signing off